one of the things that becomes really evident in this finale to the Clone Wars is how much of a different experience Ahsoka had in Order 66 versus pretty much any of the other Jedi. There will be spoilers for this series finale of the Clone Wars. Make sure you uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. We know how emotional and devastating it was to people like Caleb Doom, who ended up becoming King and Jarrus, uh, Cal from Jedi Fallen Order, and we saw some of the other Jedi get killed in Revenge of the Sith. Yoda had to take quick action to kill a couple of the clone troopers. Obi-Wan betrayed by Cody and making his escape. But the thing is that pretty much any of the other Jedi really didn't know what was going on. Soka was the only one that really had the information to be able to work with. She knew that these clones that had turned on her really didn't have a choice. And I think the fact that a lot of them had her facial markings on their helmets really probably made it even more difficult for her to even think about trying to kill some of them. I mean, Ahsoka's integrity was so absolute that even though it would have made more sense for her to kill some of these clone troopers, I mean, eliminate them one by one, she wouldn't even do that to save her and Rex's life. Even when it became obvious that these clones, they were going to die anyways. In an emotional moment, she tells Rex they might die, but it's not going to be at her hands. Which is kind of untrue in a certain way. I mean, her helping Maul escape did lead to all of their deaths. However, she wasn't going to directly be responsible for them dying. I think her knowing what was going on in the moment really meant that when she looked back on it, she didn't have the same feeling of betrayal that a lot of the other Jedi did. I don't think Kanan was ever able to look back, even knowing after the fact about Order 66 and the chips in their heads, I don't think he was ever really able to look back and remember Order 66 with anything but a sense of betrayal. Plus there's the fact that Ahsoka, she's really the embodiment of what a Jedi should be. She's selfless, she doesn't abandon her principles pretty much for anything. And as much as Jedi are not supposed to have attachments, she seems to care deeply. And honestly, I think that's where the Jedi lost their way. They took the not wanting to have fear of losing to such an extreme. I think Ahsoka did fear losing. She feared losing Rex. And I think more than anything, she really feared losing herself. And in the most tragic moment in the history of the Jedi, she somehow, some way, kept from doing that. She kept from losing who she was. You know, years later when she looks at Vader and says, I am no Jedi, I think she got it wrong. And in fact, at the time of Order 66, she might have been just about the only Jedi who deserved to have that title. And yes, I'm probably a little bit wrong on that. I mean, there's definitely some that did deserve it. I mean, Obi-Wan probably did, but others, I mean, Mace Windu didn't deserve that title. Yoda had lost his way just a little bit. I mean, the only other ones that I can really think of that truly embodied what it meant to be a Jedi were probably maybe Plo Koon, Kit Fisto, Ayla Secura to some extent. But anyways, that's one of the things I really took away from the series finale of the Clone Wars is that Ahsoka really was the embodiment of the Jedi and how she reacted how she let Order 66 affect her really showed that.